uh, go to the next point for today. If there's no further questions or comments to Anke Hansen, it seems not. So, uh, oh, yes. Uh, the next will be Rekajis, the new initiative to spread the small wind knowledge to the Ibero-American -America region. Ignacio Cruz Cruz uh, from CMAT, Spain, please go on. Are you there, Ignacio? Hello. Yes, I am here. Yes. Very good. The word so, is yours. Uh, I tried to... Okay. I don't know. Can you see the presentation or? Yes, yes we can. Oh. Okay. Ignacio, yes, no problem, we can see it. Okay, okay. So, uh, this is a, first of all, thank you for for the invitation to make this, this to give you this presentation. Uh, thank you, Nordic Fox Center, about uh, for this uh, very good uh, conference, video conference. So uh, I'm going to to present here a new initiative that we are we have been working during two years. It lasts uh, four years. This new initiative called Regedis, Regedis uh, tries to spread as much as possible the small wind knowledge into the Ibero-American region. So, a mission of this uh, network is, uh, is to uh, promote uh, distributed wind energy in all kind of applications of grid, grid connected, in uh, open field, in rural areas, but also in uh, peri-urban, especially peri-urban, and some cases of urban. So a limit for uh, this, uh, in terms of technology, is the limit, the, the same limit as for the uh, standard is. Uh, wind turbines up to 200 square meters swept area, so let's say 50, 60 kilowatts rate power. So the objectives of this uh, network are six, uh, and first objective is focus on the wind resource uh, assessment. So yes, to you, the idea is to use the existing the already existing tools to to get more knowledge about the uh, behavior of the wind wind flow in different conditions, in highly turbulent sites, in peri-urban, in places with forests, with all kinds of situations. Second of this is, is uh, focus on the technology itself, in the technology for distributed generation, in order to define, to this, uh, this uh, define or develop design uh, capacities in the region, but also uh, procedures for testing the different components of the wind turbine and also the wind turbine itself. So the third objective is get knowledge about the impact of distributed wind generation in the networks. We have to take into account that this region in general networks, are, there is a lack of networks networks in many places. This is the reason because we are working on off-grid applications, but also if we look at the grid tie applications, there are difficulties to uh, operate in a stable, a stable way with uh, small wind turbines. So four objective 
is focus on the knowledge uh, methods or uh, requirements to qualify uh, small wind turbines. So we try to express as much as possible all the knowledge of uh, based on, on standardization in order to to start to start up activities focus on 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 testing of small wind turbines, probably in the future certification, but the first stage is working on in order to to support the quality of the wind turbines that are under design or de under development in the area. Fa fifth objective is all related to permitting and uh, regulations. We try to collect all the information from different countries, different regions about uh, regulations, local regulations, national regulations uh, related to permitting uh, about uh, small wind uh, turbines. Uh, the last but not least uh, objective is the exchange. The main objective in, uh, is the, the exchange of experiences between among all the participants in this network, especially related to case studies, to uh, instrumentation, to measurements, to data available, so all these kind of things. So. The network in general, uh, general is a 49, 48 uh, months uh, network. Our intention is to continue after the fund, uh, funding we have right now. So there are uh, so far 27 organizations involved. Uh, 22 are R&D centers and universities, and only five are manufacturers. There are more than 90 researchers involved in this activity, and there are researchers and experts from 14 different countries. Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Cuba, Ecuador, Ecuador El Salvador, Spain, Mexico, Panama, Peru, Portugal, Dominican Republic, and Uruguay. Those are the entities that are involved in this, on this network. So there are, uh, from Argentina, for instance, there are five entities. Some of them are research centers like INTI. There are some members from INTI attending this conference. There are also universities like the Universidad Nacional de Comahue, like the Universidad de Patagonia, the South Argentina, and the Universidad Tecnológica Nacional. All of them working in different areas that we will see some of them because there are so many in, in the next slides. So there are one partner from Brazil, which is uh, the Center of the Energías Renovables, the Center for Renewable Energy from the University Federal, Federal University of Pernambuco. There is an, an another center from uh, Chile, for Chile, from the University of Magallanes in the southern, in the really, really southest uh, area of, of Chile. There are two partners from Colombia, the University EIA and the UPB, University, Pontificia University Bolivariana. There are people from, from Cuba, from CETER Cujay, the Center for Studies and and technology, energy, energy technologies, and the Uni Technological University of La Habana, and another university from Cuba, also the University Central University from Las Villas. There are researchers from Ecuador, University of Loja, from El Salvador, University Don Bosco, from Spain, CMAT, which is a, we are the coordinators of this activity. There are three entities from Mexico, CIATEC. Center for an Advanced Technology, the INEL Institute, National Institute for Electricity and Clean Energies, and UNISMO, the University of ISMO in the south, in Chiapas, in the south of Mexico. There are also researchers from Panama, in the Technological University from Panama, and from Peru, uh, Peru Pontificial University, Catholic University from Peru. 
researchers from Portugal, is uh, LENEG, Laboratory National of Energy and Geology in Portugal, in Lisbon. And from Re the Republica Dominica, Dominica Republic, so the Instituto Tecnológico Santo Domingo. Finally, from Uruguay, the, uh, the engineering faculty from the Universidad de la República. So, if we compare the academic activity, academic research activity with the industrial activity, so that we see that it is a very, very unbalanced uh, network. And there are so many reasons. Uh, this is the really real challenge. There are few companies and of them are in very, very bad conditions. Uh, so it's really difficult just to uh, push this activity, the small wind development in these countries. So this is the, we try to do uh, the best to promote, to improve the knowledge and the capacities for companies, but uh, for manufacturers, but it's, it's, it's really difficult. And we try to, to find a way to, to, to increase the activity on this side. So we have established seven working groups in this activity. The one group is working on wind resource. Another working group is working on a small wind technology. Another working group on weak integration. Another um, four working group on quality and testing. Working group five on regulation and permitting. Working group six on outreach and case studies. Finally, there is a horizontal working group, seven, which is looking for a new solution, solutions cost competitive for uh, measurements, for data acquisition, for all related to uh, experiments and, and information about the wind turbines. So this is a very, very important barrier because money is in the end a, a big issue. So let me to show you some of the most relevant achievements. There are so many more, but I just include some of them in order to, to offer you a big, uh, great vision about this, this activity. So for instance, we include some countries with a very, very weak activity on wind energy. Now this is improving, for instance, like Salvador, and they are now working on, uh, on different activities, especially the first activity is just wind resource assessment. This university, university is working in order to assess the wind resources in the nearby the, the university in order to see the possibility to, to install small wind turbines uh, in the university. Another activities are very focused on, on urban or buildings. So here, for instance, we have a, another experience. This is a, a a experiment in a city, in Rosario City in, in Argentina, where uh, it has been installed several several anemometers from different technologies in different in different uh, roof roofs uh, in a square uh, of uh, of this city, in order to get measurements, and then it has been physical uh, model in a wind tunnel. And we are offering this, this, all this information for researchers in order to validate different CFD models, different models, different tools for uh, wind assessment, the behavior of, in order to know, to get knowledge about the behavior of the wind energy in these specific areas. Another experience very close to this uh, is uh, this experience developed by Lenec from Portugal, for instance, in order to test different different uh, tools, commercial tools, uh, and different uh, um, freeware tools, based tools, in testing in these special conditions in cities, for instance, uh, they, they, they gather uh, measurements in different, in two different cities, Torres Vadras and Cascais in Portugal. And they have been working on the test of different uh, tools like wind sim and urban wind from Meteodin and also was engineering. Uh, they have been working in the preparation of these tools with uh, another free, freeware software based on open phone. 
Another experiment, this is in Montevideo in Uruguay, in order to establish different types of densities in cities in order to establish a general model, in order to, to know which are the which will be the possibilities of, of, of exploitation of wind energy in these in these places. Obviously, the less density areas or low density areas are much better. Another experiment, very close to this but different, is developed by the, by the Brazilian University, and in this case, they are trying to use a. a Corporate model, a meso micro scale model based on WORF and an open phone, in order to establish or predict uh, wind energy in a specific area, a peri urban area, it's a residential area close to the sea border, to the seaside in Brazil, in close to uh, in, in Tauros, Rio Grande do Norte, in the northern. Russell. So regarding technology, we have been working in small wind turbines development like this example. It's a 30 kilowatts wind turbine developed by Sia Tech in Mexico. This is a wind turbine. You can see the nacelle. And here you can see uh, all related to the design and manufacturing and testing of the, of the wind blades uh, for this wind turbine. Also, we have we have partners working on electronics on power electronics and control. This is the control for wind turbines that is, is under test now in a venture uh, with a emulator, wind emulator. Is this this control system has been developed by the by the university by the Argentinian University Tecnológica Nacional. Here you can see the test the emulator for, in order to test the PMG and electronics and also the control system just to set setting the all the parameters we have been working on testing here you can see the same picture as yesterday my colleague was uh, explaining about the experiment of uh, to test a wind turbine work operating in uh, open field and roof mounted in different complex conditions of turbulence intensity Another achievements are, for instance, all related to cost competitive solutions. Here we can see a solution, costly, costly solution for uh, wind turbines uh, testing and uh, uh, low cost or cost competitive solution. And we are trying to compare which is the precision, which is the quality uh, of the different solutions, technical solutions. Here we can see another achievement, another solutions in order to measure, to win, to establish the wind resource assessment. All of them cost competitive, looking for a solution that could be spread all over the. Here we can see a solution for a system with a control system is a, it tries to be a, as cheap as cheap as possible. Uh, we are also doing outreach activities like a, a conference, physical conference, like this two conference in Spain, in Soria, in our test facilities, and in Medellin, in Colombia, in 2019. We are working also on training activities trying to do workshops. We have been doing workshops. Now we are trying to establish uh, courses, uh, e-learning courses, physical and probably learning, taking in the account of the con uh, present conditions. And that's it for my side here. Yes, uh, I would like to to say that there are, this is, for instance, this last, last picture is the test facility of INTI in Cutalco in Argentina with the winter wines. And, we are very proud to collaborate in this uh, area in order to increase the knowledge uh, about the uh, uh, quality of small wind turbines in this region. And we're very, very proud because of the great job that they have been doing during the last years. Thank you. That's, that's it for my side. Thank you for your attention and for your time. Thank you very much, Ignacio. Are there any questions or comments to Ignatius? 
uh, presentation. It seems not for the time being.